This particular question is about exponential decay. Anything in the format of uh, p equals to any constant e to the power minus k t. This is exponential decay. And we have this format, but instead of e, which is 2.718, we have another number 1.5. So we have to find the value of the car on 1st January 2005. Now, 1st January 2001, that is... Uh, the beginning value that means t equals to zero at that particular value. So if you figure out, so t equals to zero at first January 2001, t equals to one is first January 2002, then 2003, then 2004, then 2005, first January. So t equals to two, t equals to three, so t equals to four. So it is clear that at that particular value it should be four. So all we have to do here at t equals to 4, what is the value of v? 1000, 1 1.5 to the power minus 4. Let's use the calculator. This turns out to be 1.5 to the power minus 4. And we have to multiply this with 1000. And we get 197.5. So 197.5, so the value should be in pound, so it should be this much. Question number B, we have to find the rate. Anything with dt, it's rate, meaning change with time. dv by dt means rate of change of volume. So in order to find dv by dt, we need to know the derivative. So d by dx of any constant to the power x, that's an exponential function. If we have uh, this number to be 2.71828, that is e, we call it the natural exponential function. So this is just another exponential function. So it would be a to the power x ln x ln a. So that is the value a to the power x ln a. And here we have, and there is, has to be a chain rule always, always a chain rule, the algebraic portion. So, so here what we have is v equals to 1000, 1 1.5 to the power minus t, therefore dv by dt, 1000 would be here as a constant, so this would be 1.5 to the power minus t, same as a to the power x, a to the power x, into ln 1.5, and the d by dx of the power of minus t, d by dt of minus t, so it would be d by dt of minus t, so it turns out to be 1000, 1 1.5, to the power minus t, ln 1.5, and this is going to be minus 1. So we have to find the value when t equals to 4. So when t equals to 4, dv by dt is going to be 1000, 1 1.5 to the power minus 4, ln 1.5 into minus 1, and it turns out to be so 1.5 to the power minus 4. So into 1000. And then we multiply ln 1.5. So ln 1.5. And this is going to be negative. So into minus 1. So minus 80.09. Minus 80.09. 0, 0.9 and uh, this is going to be uh, the value is in pounds so this per year uh, I think this is this is not 1000 this is 10,000 so I should increase the 0 over here so this should be 1970.5 then this would also be 10,000 10,000 10,000 so this should be minus 800.09 uh, 9 2 it becomes 9 2 9 2 let me write this clearly minus 800.92 this is a rate of change question remember rate of change you have to find the unknown rate when the given rate is the rate would be given times a derivative uh, rate is anything change with time. 
So the rate of change of volume is dv by dt. Rate of change of area is dA by dt. Rate of change of radius is dr by dt. And these are the rates. Derivative is uh, if you differentiate, uh, if you differentiate some sort of a volume, usually it's in terms of uh, radius. It would be dv by dr. If you differentiate area, it would be d a by d r or the reciprocal. So that that is the idea behind uh, rate of change sums. So the first thing that we have to do is a spherical balloon. So it's a sphere. Uh, it's a sphere. So volume of a sphere is four third pi r cubed. Let me write it over here. So four third pi r cubed. This is the volume of a sphere, and the rate of increase of its volume. So rate of increase of its volume means dv by dt uh, is given by this so given dv by dt equals to some constant divided by v this information is given and given that the radius of the balloon is this and the volume is this we have to find dr by dt that is the unknown rate we have to find so all this information is given so let's do this first of all uh, unknown rate dr by dt equals to given rate dv by dt here the information is given dv by dt into derivative now since uh, we have to find r dr by dt so we can write here dr by dv in that case the dv dv cancels and we get dr by uh, dt so the formula for the volume of a sphere is 4 third pi r cubed therefore dv by dr is going to be 4 third pi is a constant so r cubed derivative is 3 r square we can simplify this as this 3 this 3 cancels 4 pi r squared and now we can plug in the value so dr by dt equals to dv by dt. dv by dt is constant k divided by v multiplied by dr by dv is the reciprocal of dv by dr. So it would be 1 by 4 pi r squared. Now we can simplify further. So k divided by v. Now v is 4 third pi r cubed. Remember, we have to write down the answer in terms of r. So the formula for volume of a sphere is 4 third pi r cubed multiplied by 1 by 4 pi r cubed. What we can do is we can take all the constant together. k is a constant, 4 by 3 pi is a constant, 4 pi is a constant. So we can take all the constant together. So k, 4 by 3 pi multiplied 1 by 4 pi multiplied by r cubed into, uh, this is r squared that is going to be 1 by r to the power 5. We can take all this constant as an arbitrary constant b. All this constant, these are all numbers, these are all constant. We can take it as an arbitrary constant b divided by r to the power 5. So dr by dt equals to constant divided by r to the power 5. Next question number b is we have to solve this general solution that we uh, found in part a. To solve a general solution, to find the general solution of a differential equation uh, is to basically integrate and we have to do this using the separable method. So let me define this first. So differential equation is any equation that has some sort of a derivative. So here we have uh, dr by dt equals to some constant by r to the power 5. So this is a differential equation. And to integrate this, we can find uh, the solution of the differential equation. Here the solution would be r equal to something. If you uh, integrate a differential equation, if you solve a differential equation, you would always find the solution with a constant. And that is known as the general solution. General solution is the solution with the constant intact. If you find the value of the constant, then it would be a particular solution. So here we have to find the general solution. dr by dt equals to constant b by r to the power 5. So when we do cross multiplication, it would be r to the power 5 dr equals to b dt. We integrate both sides. So 
Therefore, r to the power 6 by 6 equals to bt plus c. We can keep it in this format or we can simplify further. First of all, the value of b. We can put the value of b here. b is k divided by 4, 4 is a 16 by 3 pi squared. That's, a, that's going to be a bit complicated. This is going to be k divided by 16 by 3 pi squared. That is the value of uh, b. So it's going to be this t plus the constant c. Now we can further simplify by multiplying both sides with 6. r to the power 6 equals to uh, this would be 6. This would be 3k by 16 pi squared t plus c. And if you write the value of r, so that would be 6 into this is uh, 18. 6 3 is 18. So 18 by 16 pi squared, this would be k. And this would be t plus 6c and the power would be 1 by 6 because of this because of the power over here. At time t seconds the length of the side of a cube is x. So this is a cube and the length of the sides of the cube is x and the surface area of the cube is s and the volume of the cube is v. So as we know that if this is a cube, a cube is a box where length, breadth, height they are all equal. So if this is length, this is length, this is length. So volume would be L cubed. And every face is a square. So the area of one face is uh, L square. And since there are six faces, altogether there are six faces. So we just add it up or six L squared. So here every side is X. And uh, the surface area and the cube of uh, the cube is increasing at a rate at so this is going to be ds by dt equals to 8 cm square per second this information is given let me show you how the surface area can increase if you think of the cube uh, like this and the cube can have the area being increased that means the surface area is increasing the volume is also increasing or it can also decrease and you can see that it's like like a rubber balloon and this can happen and when this happens the value of both the edge which is rate of change of uh, uh, x which is dx by dt and rate of change of the surface area rate of change of the volume they can all increase so let's start so we have to find dx by dt so we know unknown rate dx by dt equals to known rate ds by dt we know the known rate is 8 into derivatives the derivative is going to be dx by ds so that ds ds cancels of usually uh, area surface area is given by the letter a but here they are using the letter uh, s it sometimes they do it to uh, check whether people are doing the sum from memory or they understand the concept or not so Let's start with the surface area. So surface area is 6L squared. So here the side is x. So 6x squared. So the derivative would be ds divided by dx uh, equals to 6 to the 12x. That is the derivative. Now we don't know the value of x. So we are going to have the expression. Hence dx by dt equals to. Now ds by dt is 8. So this is given 8 times. Now dx by ds is the reciprocal of uh, ds by dx. So this would be 1 by 12x. So if you simplify this, uh, this cancels off. So this is going to be uh, 4 twos are 8 and 4 threes are 12. And we have 1 by x over here. So this is the constant k. So 2 by 3 is the constant. So we can write k divided by x. So this is an arbitrary constant. In question number b, we have to find dv by dt. So in order to do that, let's write down the chain rule again. This is the unknown rate. This is what we have to find, dv by dt. Now the known rate, we just found dx by dt. And the derivative is going to be uh, dv by dx. It is important to remember, uh, we have to use dx by dt. Because if we use ds by dt, uh, there is no derivative of uh, there is no rule connecting the surface area of the volume, so it's a good idea to connect it with the uh, the side. So here again, we have volume is uh, L cubed, meaning x cubed. So the derivative is going to be dv 
by dx and this is going to be thrice x squared hence we can put it over here dv by dt equals to now dx by dt is 2 by 3 2 by 3 into 1 by x multiplied by dv by dx is 3x squared so if we cancel this 3 and this 3 and this x and the other x it would be twice x now we have to show this in terms of v we have to show twice v to the power 1 by 3 so for this particular question what we have to do for v equals to x cubed therefore x equals to v to the power 1 by 3 so we are expressing x in terms of v so again dv by dt is going to be 2 instead of x we can write v to the power 1 by 3 we have one more question over here and this is a very common structure uh, first of all you have some rate of change and it always ends with uh, solving a differential equation again a differential equation is any equation with a derivative so we have to solve the differential differential equation we have to uh, find the value of t when v equals to this but first of all uh, we have to solve the differential equation dv by dt so let's let's do this over here dv by dt equals to 2 v to the power 1 by 3 so by separable method bringing all the v on one side so dv by v to the power 1 by 3 and to v always keep the constant on the right hand side so that if you have a plus c you don't have to write the plus c on the left hand side just write 1 plus c on the right hand side dt so integrate integrate so this is going to be v to the power minus 1 by 3 dv and this is going to be 2t plus c so when we integrate that this is going to be v to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 so v to the power minus uh, 1 by 3 plus 1 is going to be plus 2 by 3 divided by 2 by 3 and this is going to be 2t plus c so we can write it as uh, 3 by 2 v to the power 2 by 3 equals to 2t plus c now in this particular question they have given us the value of v and t for finding the constant so v equals to 8 and t equals to 0 so we can write at uh, t equals to 0 v equals to 8 so 3 by 2 8 to the power 2 by 3 equals to 0 plus c that means 3 by 2 so 8 is 2 cubed into 2 by 3 so this 3 and this 3 cancels so this is going to be 2 squared is 4 and 3 by 2 into 4 is going to be 6 so c equals to 6 now we can write down the expression therefore 3 by 2 v to the power 2 by 3 equals to 2t plus 6 that is the expression and now we have to find the value of t when v equals to 16 square root of 2 when v equals to 16 square root of 2 then 3 by 2 16 square root of 2 to the power 2 by 3 equals to 2t plus 6 now for this we have to use indices so this is 3 by 2 now 16 is 2 to the power 4 multiplied by square root is 2 to the power half and this is 2 by 3 equals to 2t plus 6 so what we can do is we add up the power when we have the same basis multiplied we can add up the power so 4 plus half that is going to be 9 by 2 so 2 to the power 9 by 2 4 plus half is 9 by 2 4 to the 8 plus 1 9 by 2 and now we have the power is 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 so when you have a power above a power the power they are multiplied so what we can do over here we can multiply the power so this can be this is 3 by 2 3 by 2 okay this is 3 by 2 into this is going to be 2 to the power 9 by 2 multiplied by 2 by 3 this 2 and this 2 cancels and this is 3 3 is a 9 is equals to 2t plus c so 2 square is 4 so 3 by 2 into 4 is going to be 6 therefore 6 equals to 2t plus 6 so and this is 2 cubed I didn't understand my own hand this is 2 cubed so this should be 12 this should be 12 okay so this should be 2t equals to 6 therefore t equals to 3 so that is the value of t